Hello friends, welcome back to bankexamstudy.com. So today I am going to talk about uh, 6 weeks plan. It's not exactly 6 weeks, it's like 7 to 8 weeks. So in this plan I am going to tell you how to prepare for ESI, how to prepare for FM. I will tell you the exact topics, how to study, from where to study. So let's start with the ESI, right? So let's start about the week number 1. Students, you should start with the international reports. This is the most important part. Uh, the government schemes and international reports, these two are the most important parts of this exam. The, in the first week, you should do the international reports, the reports like HDI, uh, that's Human Development Index, Ease of Doing Business Report, then Global Hunger Index, Energy Transition, Gender Gap, Happiness Index. There are roughly 40 to 45 and, and such indices are there released by IMF, World Bank, UNICEF, United Nations, right? Very important, not just what is the rank of India, but what are the various indicators, how this index is calculated, how, who, which organization releases or, uh, this index, right? I mean, what are the changes in the indicators and overall averages. So, go a little bit in depth. It is not a paper of general awareness, it is a paper of ESI, right? So this is the week number one along with this along with the international report if you find some time uh, actually I have provided the summary in our RBA grade B course uh, there is a proper summary of all these reports the, the, that is actually available in the bank exams today mobile application link is available in the description. So along with that you can read the RBA grade B GK digest for the month of December 2017 in the week number one that is sufficient then the week number two. So economic survey is very important for this exam. Even in the last year's paper, I saw like seven, eight questions just from the economic survey. Very important. So students, you need to read the at least if uh, read the summary of the economic survey at least. So read the summary of economic survey. Again, read the summary of union budget. If you haven't gone through uh, the budget summary, I mean that is a mistake. You should have gone through the budget summary, uh, the budget speech, but. The, you can go through the union budget summary, very important. Along with that, read RBA grade B GK digest for the month of Jan, Feb and March uh, 2018. And that is available on bankexamstudy.com. I will provide the links to all these, you know, uh, all, all these uh, study material in the description. Actually, not all, all the material, not free actually. I am, uh, these, some of the materials are actually part of the course and RBA grade B 2018 course that the team bank exams today is doing. So in the week 3, what I can recommend you is for the ESI, uh, read the Yojana magazine summary for last 6 months. If you have time, then you can, I mean the best thing is read the bare ads, read the whole economic survey, read the whole un union budget and read the in-depth, you know, international reports, but you don't have that much of time. Then you need to read the summary only. So Yojana magazine summary, this is a barely 7-8 pages of summary, easy to read, easy to grasp. Read that available in bankexamstudy.com. I will provide the summary. And then the government schemes, most important part. The most important part of the whole exam is the government scheme. List of various important schemes, I mean there are few websites on the internet, uh, what they are doing is, I mean including ours this is the scheme released by this ministry and this is uh, that's why it, it is started but no you need to go in depth little bit in depth uh, what is the corpus i mean what it is actually targeting at uh, what are the achievements of the particular scheme who's a nodal agency right so it's important we have done this uh, then Go through all the government schemes related to poverty elevation, the employment generation schemes and uh, various rural development, SME, recently they started the, some, of, some of the women empowerment schemes, very important, women entrepreneurship schemes, very important. Then the week number four, fourth week, read the yearbook summary. I mean reading yearbook is very difficult but you know we have made yearbook summary and we have divided into various parts very important for the exam read it the last important thing not the last important thing rba's bi-monthly policy this uh, the policies that just came out along with the policy along with the policy rate change uh, there was actually no policy rate change along with that there were few other you know announcements announcement regarding the 
Indian accounting standard for the banks. Uh, they are extended for a year. Now they will be applicable from 1st of April 2019. And you know, uh, data related to all the customers uh, for pay uh, for uh, payment banks, right? It should be in India. I mean, there are few other, you know, a swaption is released. So there are a few announcements in that bi-monthly uh, monetary policy. Along with that policy, I made a proper lecture on that. Uh, that is available in the financial management folder. If you are a student of RBA Grade B course, please go to the financial management uh, folder and watch the, that lecture. By uh, Even I, I uploaded that lecture on YouTube, RBA is bi-monthly monetary policy. Very important. Please go through that. Uh, then basal norms and all those basic topics, right? So students, uh, we prepare the Banking Awareness Digest every month. Please go through previous 5-6 months Banking Awareness Digest. It is just 20-25 pages of digest. You can easily go through that within a day. Within a setting of like 2-3 hours, you can go through all the Banking Awareness Digest. It is not a huge digest, just 20-30 pages. Uh, then yearbook summary I have told you. Then RBA's notifications. I mean, even though uh, there is uh, RBI grade B GK digest in which we are, you know, summarizing all the RBI's notification, which is actually very important. But students, uh, just before going to uh, just before going to the exam, what I can recommend you is uh, that please go through the websites of RBI. Give one day to RBI's website. Give one in the same day. Go to the NABARD website. Then go to the SEBI's website, uh, Insolvency Board's website, uh, these official websites, right? NHB website. Go through these four or five websites and just uh, just see that in the notification panel, in their publication. Just go, just read it. Very important. You will find three four question out of that. Very important. Their websites are very important for these competitive exams, right? So that's all for that ESI, right? I mean, if you are able, uh, then we have a proper mock test series in our course, right? We provided 10 mock tests for the ESI. The first mock test is free. Just, just take a free mock test. Uh, I'll provide the link to the free mock test in the description. There is just one mock test. The mock test series is not available for me because actually it takes a lot of efforts to make a good test series, to make a very good test, right? So everything is available on bankexamstudy.com, learn.bankexamstudy.com and bankexamstudy mobile application. So let's move on to finance. Students, a lot of you are actually from engineering background, from arts background. Uh, before starting, even starting the preparation, what I can recommend you, just go through some basic financial terms. You should know what, uh, suppose if you're reading a, uh, if you're uh, watching a mutual fund lecture, I mean, but you should know what is NAV. This is a common terms, what is NAV? I mean, what is a bullish market? What is a bearish market? I mean, these are the few kind of terms that you should be aware about. I have prepared proper lectures for it. Till now, I have done, I think, five lectures. Uh, there is a proper series going on the bank, on uh, going on on bankexamstudy.com. I am teaching that finance portion myself. So, it's very important for you. So, let's start with the week number one. Uh, before starting it, give like one or two days to the financial terms. Very important. Then week number one, derivatives, most important part actually. In the derivatives, there are forward contract, future contract. Most important one, swaps and options. Swaps and options are actually very important. Swaps, uh, there is a new, you know, notification for a swaption. The combination of swaps and options released by the RBI. So that is very important, swaptions. Uh, in the uh, within the first week, you can do the bond valuation. In the bond valuation, YTI, YTM, NOTs, present value. Then uh, the growth, the growth NOTs are very important, right? Growth NOTs are actually part of time value of money, but uh, you can do it along with that uh, bond valuation, right? So in the week two, uh, just after that bond valuation, do the time value of money chapter. Very important chapter. Uh, try to use that simple calculator simple yeah calculators are allowed here calculators are allowed in the finance and management paper so uh, buy a simple uh, citizen calculator I mean even my in my lectures I taught my students to you how to use calculators for this exam uh, I have never used a scientific calculator myself so I always recommend my students to use a simple calculator uh, because I'm comfortable with simple calculator. If you are comfortable with a scientific calculator, go for it. 
So in the week two, time value of money, then do the ratio analysis. Very important. Important chapter. Along with the ratio analysis, I provided a simple lecture on financial statement analysis. How to read a financial statement? Very important. You should know what are trial balance, what is the balance sheet. The basics of financial statement analysis, very important. So along with that, do the working capital management. These are actually part of ratio analysis. Working capital management, break even analysis, and then do ratio analysis. These are actually part of the same chapter. Then week, week three, basic sources of finance, right? So what are the various sources of finance? This is a theoretical topic. And then the cost of capital, practical topic, numerical topic and capital structure. These both are actually little bit related. Uh, then do the basic of cash flow statement. Very, uh, it's a little chapter. I mean, just after watching my 15 minutes lecture, uh, this concept will be clear. Uh, accounting standard three is applicable here. Uh, then the week four. Uh, we have prepared a finance numerical uh, booster series, right? In this series, we are providing like 10 questions every day. Till now, we have done five tests. Uh, ten, in, in this test, there are like 10 questions based, based upon the actual exam. That would be sufficient, right? So do that finance numerical booster on the week number four. Along with that, read. Uh, we have provided a proper lectures about financial market regulators. Uh, I have already told you SEBI, NABARD, NHB, you know, insolvency board. So what you need to do is just go through, uh, first of all, go through our lectures. We have done all the research for you. But if, if you have some time, just go through their official websites. Very important student, go through their official website. That is a very important part. Then week number five, uh, we have made lectures about insurance. Find a, a one or two questions from these topics, insurance and mutual funds. Little bit about, you can say, what are the, uh, the financial basic terms, basic terminology of insurance, then the concepts of mutual fund. I have done three lectures on mutual fund because personally, I'm too much interested in mutual funds because I invest a lot on mutual funds. So uh, very important concept, student. Uh, then just do banking digest. The banking awareness digest that we are releasing every month, uh, digest for the last six months. The RBA Great B digest is a different digest of like 60 70 pages. This banking awareness digest is a different digest of a 20 25 pages. Uh, and further, we release our GK digest separately. But uh, if you are reading the RBA Great B GK digest, the simple GK digest is not that important. But please go through that. We put a lot of effort on that. Uh, so, banking digest is very important. Uh, then the latest topic, the NPA, it is very important. Read, uh, we have a proper lecture on bankruptcy code, the NPA, FSCA. Go through it. So, students, uh, if you have just six weeks, that would be enough. That is the timetable for you. For the English descriptive paper, uh, we have a proper, you can say, test series for the English descriptive paper. We have done uh, done the classes on presses writing. We have done the classes on essay writing. So a proper, you know, test series is going on on bank exam status, mobile app, even on bank exam .com. So if you have any doubt regarding the preparation, regarding the six weeks preparation plan, uh, then you can personally contact me. So, and one important thing, the demo course, the demo RBA grade B course is available on bank exam today, mobile application. Please install the bank exam today, mobile app on your Android phone on if you have a laptop or desktop there is learn.bankexamstudy.com take a demo course if you like the demo course you can join the course within the mobile app or within the you know learn.bankexamstudy.com so suppose if you if you want to talk to me if you have any doubt related to the exam you can directly call me my number is 90 uh, one of the team member is going to pick your call and they are going to help you out right so that's all for today students thank you and have a very nice day subscribe the channel and please comment below and like this video thank you and have a very nice day bye